This college basketball picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Draft now or play Underdog's Pick 'em for a chance to win 100x. Promo code SGPN, underdogfantasy.com for a 100% deposit match. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hrofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer to peer social betting platform that's US based and available in 40 states. Head to cut.com. That's K U T T.com and use promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. And we're also brought to you by the SGPN merch store. 15% off everything. Use the promo code playoffs. What's up? It's the most must see WWE superstar of all time, The Miz, and you are watching SGPN. Let it ride. Welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Uh Q's jersey's looking fire. It is. Uh on our monitors here, it looks super orangey. And I'm wearing my camo SGP hat, promo code playoffs, a uh, 15% off everything. I do kind of have a hunter vibe, you know, like I'm Should we get a wood box around <laughs> you, make you feel like you're in a tree stand? I got a little uh, Lucy nicotine pouch hanging out in the woods, uh firing off some uh firing off my old rifle, taking care of some big big game hunting. By the way, you didn't even bring that up in your handicap of the Bucks game that Baker uh, practices with the Lucy in his pocket. Oh, you're right. I uh, how do we miss that? How do we miss that? You know what else we missed? That uh, Todd Bowles was uh, lost out on the Detroit job to oh. Dan Campbell. Oh, man. You're welcome, Sean. So many other reasons why I like uh, or just great reasons to add on to why I like the Bucks with six and a half. Check out the check out the Divisional Picks podcast if you missed that, but we're here to talk hoops, in particular college hoops with the database himself, Colby Dant. What's happening, Colby? Vote for Gavin Newsom. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't realize we were a political we show. Have a strict no politics. Get out there. Program. Get out there and vote. Look, I I I once called this guy a jackass. He's back on the good side of things. <laughs> yeah. Vetoing anyone trying to make tackle football illegal. Well, the, the best part about the story is like I don't think there's anything imminent. In terms of anything that would need to get vetoed, but <laughs> election time's coming up, so I'm hey, look, uh, all I know is it's gonna get Colby to the, uh, the I'm back the voting right. booth. Here, so you know how like a lot of uh, a lot of news outlets will put out kind of like a uh, cliff notes of what what political candidates are all about. Colby needs to put one out just for people who are pro football and against football. Yes, yes, what, uh, just so people know who they're voting for. Well, look. You don't want to accidentally. The real reason vote. to get out and vote. You we know act- it's all rigged, but I mean, look. They, it, you know. Imagine accidentally voting for someone who's going to try to cancel football. Yeah, no, that, that's a lifetime yeah. of mistakes right there, and one. Trip well, that's to what I vote. hate in California is like when you go vote. There's like, you know, a thousand props, and there's like, you know, you're voting for. It's like the Super Bowl. People in fucking town town hall. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, I got no idea what Assistant I'm doing here. Assistant sheriff, clerk, right? uh, admin. It's a very dangerous game you're playing because you could be putting uh, some guy in power that that thinks football is a terrible <laughs> thing. You know what I mean? Probably so likes dope. You know football. how they have yeah. voting guides uh, for like, hey, you're super liberal, yeah, you're super yeah, conservative. Yeah, yeah. Voting guides. We need to put out a pro football voting guide. Yes, and it's just yes. basically if you love football, support these candidates. Yeah, I didn't vote Trump because he destroyed the USFL. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? He was coming for it. That, that, that had nothing really to do with his foreign policies. <laughs> All right, it was the goddamn was guy domestic. ruined the USFL. It was going we, great in the spring. We his, had a we right? had a real spring league. There was no reason. To to move it to the fall and challenge the NFL, there really was no saying, reason. That's what I'm saying. It was it was it was growing each year, and I'm still mad about that. And <laughs> Col- yeah, but Col- now it it paved the way for the United Football League. <laughs> Wait, is it the oh, United Col- Football League or the Unified Football? I'm League? not sure, but at least they got the USFL kickoff. Oh yeah, there is a real god. Kickoffs. Hey, is look, the, hey, I gotta call Gavin and see if he had something to do with that too. All right, because probably not. Uh, probably not. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he's just vetoing everything right now. <laughs> 
I mean, uh, before we get into the picks, have to do a little self congratulations as we went on a clean sweep, six and zero oh on the show locks, and if that wasn't enough, six and zero oh on the show locks, and we hit our three team lock parlay. I mean, how could we not hit it? Cut Colby also on the Penn State money line. Uh, it was just a, uh, it was just a cash uh, bonanza. It was really a great episode last week, and. Again, even though Discord had its uh, one of their few winning weeks, losers, we are still seventy-eight fifty-one and one. So right on sixty percent on our consensus plays. Oh my god! Is that good? I would think it's good. Again, people who got who sell picks for a living inflate their record to like fifty-seven percent. So we're even beating the made-up shit that touts try and sell you on that's the and greatest, all the picks are free. That's the greatest uh, tout trick ever. Yeah. Convincing you that 55% <laughs> is really hard to get to. <laughs> it was a clean sweep. We got a bunch of good picks and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Enough messing around uh, before we get to that. Of course, shout out to DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, bringing you an offer. that will help make the playoffs electrify new customers can bet five bucks on any game. And get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Cannot wait to do the prop show. We're doing the prop show in Vegas tomorrow with CJ. Ladders will be out. There will be a lot of ladder chatter. Uh, right now, the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus 235 on the money line. Look out. Don't let Baker get hot. He was waking up feeling dangerous. And of course, uh, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code SGP. New customers bet just five bucks to get 200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SGP. The crown is yours. And now, uh, no one likes hearing the disclaimer, so we thought, why not bring in a celebrity, a uh, future Hall of Famer in my mind, to do the DraftKings disclaimer? Ryan, if you could please play our celebrity disclaimer. Hey, uh, this is Lenny Dykstra here at Nails. Uh, former world champion with the New York Mets and world series uh, with the Philadelphia Phillies. But we're going to talk about gambling, about a gambling problem. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NEW-YORK or text HOPE-NEW-YORK which is four six seven three six nine. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call eight 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 halfway seven eight nine seven 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 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, okay? Play responsibly. Twenty one plus age varies by jurisdiction, void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hey, Emma, East Carolina. Oh, so, sorry. Well, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. I'm sorry. Well, thank you, Letty. <laughs> Appreciate you getting through the. Uh, the Dijkstra <laughs> disclaimer. Uh, we'll we'll clean it up. We'll get like a sped up version of that uh, to play moving forward. But thank you, uh, Lenny, doing the heavy lifting uh, for us. If you true pro, yeah, true pro. If you fast forward it through the uh, disclaimer, <laughs> please go back and enjoy Lenny. Uh, I enjoy Lenny Dijkstra almost as much as I enjoy Little C's, the official pizza sponsor of the National Football League. It is a part of our game day here at the studio. Saturday, Sunday, perfect time to get down on some pretzel crust pizza. I love pretzels. I love pepperoni. I love pizza. Give me the triple P's pizza, pretzels, and pepperoni. Perfect combination. And you get that golden buttery Brown crust with the salty sprinkles. Oh man. It is just delicious. You can get it delivered or in-store pizza portal pickup, grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza, pizza. Can can we give uh Dave, can we talk about Dave for a second? Shout out to Dave in the chat who alerted me to this that at What least, do you mean Dave uh, in the chat? This is uh, one of your people? Uh I mean I think he's a big 
SGP oh, okay. guy every I, I saw yeah. someone else talking about the basketball experience. Chat was on fire last night. Oh yeah, they were, they oh, were, and uh, we were, we were as as you know, a couple sharp handicappers. But he's talking about this headline. Oh no! At least forty dead from winter storms. Oh, uh, no. what are we doing? And there's more on the way. This is a this is just a ridiculous. Is it because story. they were playing football? Yeah, yeah. And look, they, you know, the Buffalo Bill fans are coming at me for this. And gotta be honest, Jacoby, I love this story. Looks like the tree uh, pad level was a little lower than the house. <laughs> <laughs> at least forty dead. Uh, across nine states, though you fucking losers. This is a stupid article. This is a stupid article. I, I mean, mean, how weather, hilarious! Weather is this? causes people uh, causes things to get harder, right? Like, yeah. think about the people that had to cross the Rockies back in the day. They made that movie with Leonardo. Leonardo yeah, it, they didn't close the Oregon yeah. Trail because a couple of people um, got dysentery and died. Uh, sorry, you can't cross. People, right a couple now. people got, you know, what uh, kind of headline is this? Forty <laughs> dead across the whole United States. Well, they, you have if you put death. Into the headline, people click on. You need it, right? you need to bump the numbers too. It's a e- perfect Elon, uh, classic tout <laughs> framing of data. Elon shared a pretty awesome graph. That'd be like, like, hey, I had forty winners across the entire NFL season. <laughs> yeah, no, you, forty winners in the NFL season. Wow, that sounds impressive. And then you actually do the math, and you're like, oh wait, he said the the, the entire NFL season. Oh, he's pitching Sean every Green, game. Sean yeah. Green has 40 NFL winners. It's like, wow, that's yeah. that's something that needs my attention. Have the PR and then team. You, you, then you click on it. It's like, well, you got you got three games right per week. Well, put out. A, let's put out a All right. So we've uh, uh, as as a show, we've uh, we've hit 500 winners. Let's get a release out immediately. <laughs> Uh, all right, Colby. Any other uh, people to go after? No, there's a lot out there. So buddy. far, Just, you've uh, said nice things about Gavin yeah. Newsom, and you've who's said that, mad who's things. that shit governor of New York? All right. And Anti- well, she, she was first pro weather, then anti weather. Very confusing stance. We'll have to maybe we'll add a layer of weather into your uh, your pamphlet on uh, pro or an anti football politician. I like hey, is Jesse Which, Ventura way, still alive? We got to get him back on. I'm not the first to make the joke, but uh, boy. Tommy Tuberville probably worried uh, Nick Saban about to get into politics and kick his ass again. Ooh, oh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, come on. Uh, how funny would that be? All right. <clears throat> Some forget that Tommy Tuberville once co- coached Auburn and, and, that, and, and Texas Tech and Cincinnati. Well, the the, yeah. re- the reason he's sitting in the in the yeah, in house Auburn. at uh, yeah. in Alabama is probably has something to do with his football coach acumen. All right, we're heading to. I'm going to assume these games aren't happening in the past, so we're heading to Saturday. Oh, January twenty. The date I did. Wait, are these Friday or Saturday? These no, are they're Saturday. Saturday right. But I just. I, I, all right, we're heading to New York City. Where last we talked about St. John's, Colby oh, Tino said he hates losing. He's gonna would rather die in the freezing cold well, I, and, than a and we, frost we, fight. We have a theory on this. And then okay. he let the fucking punks from New Jersey <laughs> well, beat him. He, he, he opted opted out. Out. He opted out. He didn't coach. He was he, out getting frostbite. <laughs> yeah, he, he got COVID. Maybe he intentionally got COVID to teach his body a lesson about losing. What was like, the I don't even think he got COVID. I think that's a cover up. Was that he 30 was out second there. bang? He was out there in the in in the well, wilderness. I'm surprised, I'm surprised he got COVID. I mean, it's not like him to go around and not use protection. You know, he's a, <laughs> he's, a, he's a guy who you know the person the PPE. Well, the, the diners, the diners, fairness, the diners in Omaha aren't really clean. If I he was, does you know have I mean? he does have a pale, sickly look. Um, <laughs> if I was that age, I wouldn't be worrying about wrapping it up. No, my Put wife did compare him to a Batman. He's one villain. of those guys who will get to a I mean, if a you, Batman villain. If you were running a poll, if you were running a poll of <laughs> Uh, college basketball head coach who are also most likely a vampire. He's top. He's top three, right? I oh, mean, Rick top. Barnes all day. Google him and Rick Barnes right there. <laughs> they're they're let definitely. Me get, let me get eyes on. Rick I Barnes. would say they're both in Rick, the Rick Barnes. Yeah, I can see that. But Patino, I mean, you could just see him wearing like a velvet and cape. Then fire up Jamie. Dixon. Look at the bites. Of Jamie Dixon's the young. Jamie the young, Dixon with the slick he, back hair. Jamie Dixon's the young one that's about to kill everyone and take over the oh, throne. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get one of these vampires? There are some Crypt Keeper vibes. What was that? What was that? Uh, <laughs> that 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 frozen like romance uh, take on the or not for the uh, the vampires that glistened, like the Nickelodeon version of uh, vampires that everyone uh, um, got into. Lost Boys. That's no. the only one I fucking know. <laughs> All right, moving on. St. John's hosting Marquette. Colby, these are not real. These are Prick Dundee. Prick Dundee lines. All right, uh, St. John's laying a point here. My my first thought is the wrong team is favored. Oh wow, you're fading St. John's here? No, but they they I, I, that was my is, first is thought Pati- on the is spread. Patino coaching? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I guess to me, as long as Patino's coaching, 
back to back road losses now coming home. Isn't this a u- ultimate smash uh, spot here for yeah. St. John's? Yeah. Smash. I mean, Marquette's not bad on the road, and I would take them. But if, in normal but if circumstances. Patino's not not there, then we got to take. Yeah, I mean, this one's tough to what, handicap without yeah. knowing Patino. But what did the spread do when when it, when he was announced not to be there? And I the, don't know if it, it moved. Went, did I think it? it went up a little bit. Does it matter? Yeah. I mean, I know it matters, it but me. will it impact the line? No, it certainly matters. Um, I know, but yeah. will it impact the number? Maybe by a point or two, right? Yeah, I, I to me this is uh this is going to be a get up spot for Marquette regardless. I don't know. I just my thought would be Prick Dundee's got the number wrong here, and Marquette should be favored. I mean, he got COVID. He didn't coach. He's old. He how well, he's but got that a, was on Tuesday. We're talking about Saturday. He got Tiger blood. Yeah, but let's go. I'm he's an Jones. old guy. <laughs> I mean, you think he's back? Yeah, he's probably still got that cough. They don't want him around the. I don't know. It's fine. That governor in New York City might let might not let him into the building. Give me Marquette. (laughs) Ah, we've been having a good formula where you guys agree a lot and are wrong. So I'm going to go the other way. (laughs) Creighton heads to Newark, New Jersey, where Seton Hall is on a heater. I can't believe Colby talked me out of Seton Hall last week. Seton Hall catching two points at home. Again, instant reaction. Prick Dundee's got the number wrong here. So, like, we're not respecting Seton Hall. Let's go. Give me the home team. Dog. Rare no. dog on my card dog. today. Dog. No, no. Creighton on no, the road. No, Get the fuck no. out of here. Don't we normally look to fade Creighton on the road here, Colby? No. No, really? I don't. Um, Just got their ass beat by UConn. Yeah. I mean, and I. I now they're doing like, the turnpike double. Game. I did take Creighton, Michael Creighton. It's a back to back road spot. This is tough for them. Seton, yeah, they're they're Seton road. Hall caught a break by Patino not being there. They lose to Crichton. Uh Crichton Crichton's got skilled players that can shoot. I don't know what it is you got against Seton Hall. But You've Seton been picking Hall's against a, them all Seton, year. Seton Hall's been very good at home. Yeah. I mean, they lost to Rutgers, but that's a that's a rivalry Have spot. Have they faced an offense as good as I mean, Crichton they, and Crichton play, just scored like 40 points against UConn. No took, way that happens again. They took down our top 30 offense. They're a top 60 defense. Crichton's coming in there and getting it done. I'm with uh, Kramer here. Seton Hall, let's go. Seton Hall's got an offense. I Seton Hall has some quality wins too. I'm looking at Shaheen Holloway's very brief resume. This is the best offense he's ever had. This is the best free throw shooting team he's ever had, and they're still playing his brand of defense. They're this is still, the best offensive rebounding team he's ever had. They're still 251st in taking care of the ball. All right. And, and which is the this is the best turnover percentage team he's ever had. <laughs> so he's making improvements there. They used to be at the bottom of the entire nation. You're crazy, Colby. Nope. Uh, and and you know what? We'll have to do a forensic files, and maybe forensic fi- science can help us determine why you hate Seton Hall. So. I don't hate Seton Hall. I'm I'm happy for them. You haven't picked them all year. <laughs> Uh, I I was. Didn't uh, I, I take them to upset UConn? I, I, did, I did fall asleep. Yeah. Uh, maybe once or twice. I did fall asleep to forensic files last night. Um, we can have a conversation. I know it was Providence. Life. I took them to take to take down Baylor. Providence. Yeah. Wait. So Colby, Colby, just to be clear, you're gonna lay points with Creighton. On that the road. it's telling you everything. It's a long mm. way from. Uh, I guess it, it's not Kansas. It's Nebraska, but it's a long way from home for Creighton. Baylor. Heads to Austin, Texas. Uh, McConaughey showing up for these basketball uh, games. Tell me you saw. Oh yeah. Tell me you saw Rodney Terry last Horns night. Horns down. Fucking that hilarious. That is disrespectful. What Come a little on. bitch. Like I did not see. Get me up to speed. The UCF so coach. Did UCF all. upset them. They came like the, Texas was up double digits. No, it wasn't UCF. It was Rodney Terry, Texas's coach. Uh, no, no, no. They lost to UCF. Oh yeah, they lost to UCF, and, the, and uh, they're shaking hands, and all of the UCF players are going horns down. <laughs> and he gets super pissed. He gets super That's pissed. He goes runs over the players, and he calls them out in the press conference. What? How about you uh, worry about you know giving up a what was it, fifteen point lead at home? Fucking bitch. I mean, Texas spends more money. Yeah. Look at this. Why is this illegal? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, doesn't like the Big Twelve makes it? Yeah. To- <laughs> Get out of here! Like, uh, th- we know Texas spends more money than every every other school, right? I think them and Ohio State are the yeah. two biggest. So, to me, you steal players off every roster. So, I'm sorry when UCF, a mid major that just got invited to the Big Twelve, comes up and does that. I don't even. I think every other school in the nation should be able to do that. Why do they take offense to this shit? 
kudos to UCF. Uh, it it is it is hilarious too because like they're the big guy on the block. Yeah. Hey, you can't make that. So- oh, what do you want us to wear? Some flair to Texas. Anything else, Texas? This but, is this is interesting handicap because Baylor and Texas both coming off losses here. Baylor lost to Kansas State. Texas obviously lost to UCF and back to back losses. All uh, over Baylor here. This is the last time they're going into Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know yeah. Colby's always going to oh. take <laughs> nice horns down. I know Colby's <laughs> always going to take uh, Baylor and fade Texas here. I don't know. It's I, I do feel like hmm, uh, part, part of me is. Yeah, he always fades Texas. Um, I don't know. Part of part of me is thinking like maybe this is a bounce back spot for Texas, mm. but it's also a bounce back spot for Baylor. And I don't know, man. But that Baylor offense is the better team. To Colby's point, last time they're playing in Austin, I I think I'm actually with him. I'm going to take Baylor. What are you doing, Kramer? So uh, I don't know if I said Prick Dundee has the number at one and a half, and I think this is now the third game in a row. I'm just gonna flat out say it. Prick Dundee did a shit job. Wrong team favorite. Give me Baylor on the oh, road. Oh wow. Give me Baylor on the road. I mean, I think his number is right. Nope. Shit number. No, it's it's spot on. I, I think laser give, me, give me Baylor minus one. Since and a half. 2015, you know, they play twice a year, sometimes three times a year in the Big Twelve tournament. Texas has only beaten Scott Drew twice. Have Woo. fun taking the Longhorns. <laughs> oh. No, I'm saying wrong team favorite. Horns down, Kramer. I'm saying your number is shit. Wrong team mm. favored. Baylor should oh, be you're favored. Baylor. Oh, okay. Yeah, on the road. I'm not attacking your pick. I'm attacking your mm. number. Mm. Three, three games. So you're in agreeing row. with the pick. So, ba- uh, so Discord has their first pick of the I, night. I'm willing to say Baylor minus one and a half, though. Because Texas I, minus one and a half for the Discord. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. I, I think Matthew McConaughey is, is in the Discord. He's also our Discord <laughs> minister. He's our of culture, culture. Uh, minister, minister of Discord culture. Uh, San Diego State heads up to Boise, Idaho to take on Boise State. San Diego State laying a point on the road here, Colby. Against your boy, Andrew Meadow. Oh, boy. He's on the list. And, 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 which, by uh, the way, I added Tyson someone- DJ and Hart. I added someone to the list last night. I don't know if you guys are following me on uh, on X at Kramer Centric, but uh, Colby, I, I I'm pretty sure we've spoken about him. But uh, who's this guy in Southern Missouri? And Andre Curbelo. Oh yeah. Andre Why Curbelo. were we not made aware of this guy? Bring him up. It's uh, it, yeah. Sh- you know, show that video. I, I will, show that video uh, to 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 the fans. I'm gonna send it to Josh. Um, Boise the, State coming off a loss against UNLV at home. Tough tough loss for them there. Do they bounce back, Colby, against San Diego State? I mean, I think they can. They're really good at home. And look at this guy, Sean. How are we not made what? aware? This is a bas- college basketball <laughs> player. <laughs> oh, this guy's <laughs> swag is off the charts. YouTube.com slash sports game podcast. So I, I've added him to the list. Right. Don't worry. He's right there with Look Mr. at that nice floor that Brett Favre built. I just what is he right. where is he going after the game? Uh um, wherever he wants. <laughs> he's gotta he's gotta meet someone with a Tommy gun. No, I think Boise can get it done here. Uh San Diego State, they're good, but they're not as good as last year's San Diego State team. Losing Johnson and, and Matt Bradley and stuff. Uh, and also Darian Trammell has been out. He's been sick. He missed last night's game. And then uh, the fact that Boise uh, is kind of a, this is like probably the best Boise team in a while, just from a veteran leadership standpoint, uh, DJ and Hart's been there. Leon rice doing a great job. His son's on the team, Max rice at the guard spot. Um, Boise I, state's good defense too. I mean, defense at home bounce back spot after the loss. I, I San Diego state's your points. Good. Maybe not. We'll see. They they could flip a switch in the tournament, but um, and Boise beat them last year. There, yeah. To yeah. your point, not dominant. So, I think you got to take Boise State small home dog. Here. I think they've lost three out of four <laughs> seasons up here. Um, it's going to come down to like the final two possessions. Right, yeah. Sean, four games in a row. Wrong team favored. Prick Dundee needs to take one of those blue pills. Get focused. So you're on. Uh, you're on uh, San Diego State, Ryan. Or no, no sorry, Boise, Boise State, State yes. should be laying points. Discord gets another one. Our gals. That it does feel if like we've uh, distanced ourselves a little bit uh, since their great run last year. Oklahoma. Oh, now everyone's on them. We got to move on. 
Yeah, it's kind of lame, Decker. We liked them before they were cool. Yep, yep. Just uh, Oklahoma heads to Cincinnati, Ohio. So oh, what a cover by Cincinnati. Cincinnati, again. I'm just going to keep rinse and repeating this. They're going to be a weird trip for these Big Twelve teams. Cincinnati laying two per pick done d- prick done D might be three. Yeah, I don't have a pro. I think the right team yeah. is favored on uh, on the card for this one. So the streak's over. Um. Oklahoma, great win the other night against West Virginia. Fourteen and three now is Porter Moser, but Sister Jean over here is, was asking about Porter. <laughs> Misses his firm touch. Uh, Cincinnati at home. I mean, the Big Twelve teams really at home. Look, Oklahoma's zero and two on, on the road, and really zero and three if you add in the fact Cincinnati. Carolina. That was a that was a gutty, gritty win against TCU. I mean, they were. They were lucky to get it to OT and then to cover that number in OT. It was uh it was an amazing sweat. Shout out to them. Love catching the lock that way. Yeah, and I say lost we go the back to the well. We I go back we to, to the well. Yeah. Just it's because uh, Oklahoma struggles on the road and these Big 12 home environments are fucking Cincinnati, insane. Cincinnati, it's a great place to uh it's a great it's a great spot for them at home. Like Cincinnati small favorite, I think I'm always going to be on them in that and spot. So we like, yeah. fifth third arena is going to be rocking. Yeah, I I'm you're I not. Mean, t- you're on uh, Cincy, right? We've right. had the same handicap for every one of their home games, and we've gone one and one. And it took over time. I mean, the Texas game. Oh no, I was on Texas stupidly. Yeah, Cincinnati did cover that. Or no, they didn't cover the game though. Uh, all right. Yeah. No, you have to take them at home, even though. Pretty much any Big Twelve team, you have to take at home unless it's Texas. I think we just blindly take the Cincinnati home games in this year. It's a weird. It's a weird trip. For it's these a tough Texas spot. Teams. It's a tough spot. Uh, you know what else we should blindly do, Ryan? Sign up mm. for Cut. That's right. Head over to Cut.com or download Cut in the Apple App Store. There, use promo code SGPN. Get yourself a ten dollar or ten percent deposit bonus. Promo code SGPN. Cut is peer to peer social betting platform available in forty states. Kramer, you have uh, you got a bunch of money in Cut. So. Not only can you get the deposit bonus, but you can actually put your money where your mouth is and take Ryan real money, Kramer's money. Kramer, what have you already got down on over on cut? I haven't got down on shit because no one's taken my action. Oh, really? But, what uh, do you, here's what, do you, what I've offered. What did up. you put out publicly? I have a. I put out a, a Ravens. I took Ravens minus ten. So if anyone wants to take the other side of a tech, take Texans plus ten. Hmm. It's sitting out there. It's better than market. Uh, and yet he. I've and I've put out f- uh, plenty of money. There's five hundred dollars of action out there. Let's go. I've also put out some action on the Chiefs money line. So if you want to buy the Bills yeah. money line, so managing editor Adam Pelletier was chirping. So maybe he should head over there. Also right? have over five hundred dollars in available equity to be purchased on that side of the bet too. Ooh. So come at me. Uh, come at Kramer. I, I think I uh, yeah. I mean this is a <laughs> this is a lot of lot of lot of liquidity going on over here. A lot of ins, a lot of outs. Play Head the in, eggplant drop. Sign up kutt dot com. Use the promo code SGPN. Ten percent deposit match. And uh, also, uh, Hello Fresh, baby! Hello Fresh. Uh, we got a jam-packed, a ton of great college basketball, divisional round playoffs. There's no time to be going to the grocery store. There's no time to be cooking up meals. We're sweating out bets. 10, 12, 15, 18, 24 hours a day. Hello Fresh helps with the DGen lifestyle. Uh, Fifteen-minute meals? Are you kidding me? I'm a horrible cook. I don't know how to cook. If I am going to cook, I want it to be simple, easy explanation. I need quick and easy meals. Hello Freshman helps make that happen. Makes me seem like a good engaged husband. 15 minute recipes uh, minimize mealtime stress. They got all different types of options, calorie smart, protein smart, whatever you're into, they got you covered. Uh, And of course, breakfast, you got to get a good breakfast, start your day off right. Again, saves you time, saves you money. Again, to me, it makes my life way easier. And especially the breakfast stuff. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SGPN free and use code SGPN free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash SGPN free with code SGPN free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Uh I was I got a little distracted by the chat. Um and I 
rarely do we take questions about games happening today because most people aren't going to listen till tomorrow. But uh, we have not gotten a Moorhead question yet. Yeah, love Moorhead. They're the Eagles, so maybe. Uh, what do we? Oh, no. do you like him tonight? It, it, no, I don't. I, okay. I like the points in UT Martin. There you go. Uh, the top two teams battling. That uh, concludes the 16th so. game preview. There you go. That's all you Let's get. Go. 11 a.m. on the West Coast. Uh, still Saturday. All these games on Saturday, January 20th. Fort Worth, Texas plays host to a. I, I've not. Um, I don't think the mayor fancies himself a hair guy. Uh, we know Jamie Dixon does. TCU laying three here against Iowa State. Simple. Uh, is this a hair battle? That's my first question. Because <laughs> no, the mayor's at Nebraska. He played in. Oh, Iowa I'm State. sorry. He played well, in Iowa State. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Damn it. Um, now I feel, now the, the snorkeler crowd's gonna come after. <laughs> snort. That was snort, horrible. Snort. T.J. Otzelberger. It's time not a hair guy. <laughs> Kramer when he's acting like a <laughs> not my, my hair database needs to be updated. It's time to lick the donkey. <laughs> Which, by the way, did Colby, you, we didn't ask Col Colby. Colby, did you? Are you familiar with the Dominic the Donkey, the yeah. Italian Christmas? Donkey? He grew up on the East Coast. Uh, I mean, I don't know king how familiar. King, he, I, he, I've he, heard that before, Italian but I don't know. Donkey. If you had sat me down and said, "Where that? Where is this from?" I don't know that I would have been able to Sean, nail that. Sean, what is? Was it, was it just a Northeast yeah. thing? No, I mean, I, I definitely think now that you bring it, it fits. Like yeah. it, it fits my memories, but I don't know. Cold. Could I just walk into that? I don't know that way. And, and uh, Jeff Jeter apologizing uh, for introducing us to actual donkey sound effects. Well, which yeah, are and and he, <laughs> he really pulled, horrible. He pulled the donkey sound effect, and it was a good sound effect. Appreciated uh, Jeff sending that in, <laughs> but then I listen to it. It's like there's a screeching in there that if you're listening with headphones, yeah. I, I mean, I wear noise canceling headphones in the studio. At, it would it would break your brain. So we found a fun alternative. It's Dominic the donkey. We, we had a lot of notes for the donkey sounds. And none no, of them I mean good. his was a good sound. It's just you couldn't play it as a drop. Uh, so like I said, TCU laying three here at home. Uh, Colby, I'm pretty sure is just going to lean into this this Big Twelve home team. Well, especially with Iowa State. Iowa State when they go on the road, they score like 47 points a game. I feel like. They always get they, they're just a we team just that doesn't it. travel well. We just saw them lose yeah. to Cincinnati. No, they lost. Oh, that was TCU. To, I'm sorry. Yeah, we they, just they saw lost, them lost to, to BYU by 15. Yeah, the last night. Who am I thinking of? We were watching the fucking game, dude. Iowa State on the road. They, like, they, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. BYU. Yeah. Yes. They yeah, lost we were to all locked up over uh, BYU. Do we continue to to fade them on the road here? Yes. Yeah. Lay Although I I think this number might be a little shorter than three. Uh oh. Uh, I'll still take it at three, but I think when this opens, Rick uh, Dundee really, really half-assing it today. No, and and Sean I like, coming after him now. No, no, no. I'm just you know my numbers have it closer to one, and I like I I'm kind of concerned about TCU the OT loss maybe a little draining against Cincinnati, but at home short number I think you got to take TCU. I, I, I'm just I'm always gonna fade this Iowa State team on the road. Yeah, I took a lot of dogs to start the show, so chalk it up. Chalk. TCU, good basketball team. I, yeah, they're they're slotting into my. I mean, um, what consideration they did, of betting on in March? What they did against Cincinnati, I thought was pretty impressive, honestly. Yeah, and well, they should have won at Kansas gonna, if it wasn't for that ridiculous call. Big Twelve is going to dominate in March. So many good teams. Alabama heads to Knoxville, Tennessee. Boy, uh, Alabama fans are really struggling with Nick Saban losing their entire football team entering the transfer portal. Uh, I would imagine they're going to get trolled hard, even uh, at basketball games. Tennessee laying three and a half here. This is Late. a massive opportunity for Rick Barnes. You know, this is a you circle this one as a recruiting battle. Now you got you got some red meat in with the Sharks. Nate Oates with no more backup. It's just him on an island. He's got some dick beater from NIA AI football from four years ago, coaching Alabama football. Now he's carrying it all. I mean, is Alabama no going to lose all, all their sports? <laughs> <laughs> I never really unravel. Yeah. Alabama. No, they'll, they'll be fine. Um, I mean, Alabama will get up for this game. It's just, how do you, how do you fade Tennessee right now? they just look now they lose on the road to Mississippi state, but I mean, just a buzzsaw. I mean, they put it on. They're Florida. nine and zero at home, man. They put it on Florida. They put it on Georgia. Easy handicap here. 
Yes, Tennessee very easy. and Alabama. And they even got their random like slip up against Mississippi State and, out of and, the way. And Alabama's crazy Paul Westhead offense shit doesn't fly against these slow Tennessee teams. You know oh, what I mean? rock fight! They're yeah. gonna yeah. May, may, uh, Alabama could could stretch them out, but unlikely. Uh, Alabama spends the highest percentage of their state budget on sports. So the football program should be should be fine. <laughs> be it's right. not like Alabama needs the money anyway. Purdue, I like that about Alabama. Shout out to Alabama. Look, yeah, uh, you know maybe Gavin Newsom will go over there after his time in California. <laughs> so sounds like you made it in. Help save football down there. <laughs> Purdue, hey Gavin, they're uh, uh, Purdue heads to Des Moines, Iowa to take on Fran McCaffrey. You can never We're, trust a Gavin. Sorry, though. Fran McCaffrey, yeah. as some would call it, say, Iowa uh, and the Staples taking on Purdue. And probably some staples here. I wonder if there's a different style of staple between Iowa and Indiana. A low key uh, rivalry. I still hate Purdue, even though they've well, <laughs> even though they destroyed Indiana. Low key, uh, yeah. I mean, the the staples that they uh, they feed uh, those kids from Canada on Purdue are crazy. Uh, <laughs> you got, we got to check out. Well, what are they putting in those staples? He's both incredibly tall and stapled to the ground. <laughs> Ele- Eleven point favorites for Purdue here in a uh, Colby would say a low key rivalry. You well, got to take the home team in the points, though, right? You got to produce coming off of the the real rivalry. Yeah, Indiana. It's a letdown, it's a letdown spot. spot. Oh, and Iowa. This is uh, down. Yeah, Iowa at home always gets up. I feel like. I think, man, I keep I keep looking to take teams on the money line against Purdue. Uh, I I mean, I think I was a live dog here. Situation spot. Colby nailed it. Indiana's a rivalry game. Now this is a back-to-back road spot for Purdue. I certainly like them getting eleven. Iowa points. top fifty free throw shooting team. Sean, I know you you like to hammer that home. I do. Um, thirty seventh in the nation in field goal percentage in general. Twelfth in pace. Guess what? Purdue's one hundred and twelfth. Uh, I was gonna gonna boat race them. Let's go. They're Give gonna the motorboat them. <laughs> imagine, uh, imagine. Someone announcer recently said <laughs> that. <They're> like. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna go down there and they're gonna get motorboated. <laughs> Imagine Fran McCaffrey motorboating uh, Matt Painter. Oh. Whatever happened to Girls Gone Wild, Sean? Well, uh, the, oh, the taxes. Joe Francis. It's yeah. always taxes. <laughs> it's always taxes. He didn't pay taxes on the boat or the I motorboat. Mean, that was like that was what? What was better, that, taxes, that or East kids. Bay catalog? What was? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was a time where you had to order DVDs of chicks dancing on boats. <laughs> flat, like yeah, flat. they didn't real people didn't realize that that you could just go to Daytona it like, Beach. It was like a first right? person Mardi Gras experience, like brought to you via DVD or Blu-ray. Absolutely ridiculous that that guy got money. <laughs> you yeah. could buy the DVD or two dollars in plastic beads. He was uh, he was a grifter uh, of the. A strong grifter. We just keep agreeing. Uh, Maybe this- we can get him to read the DraftKings yes. disclaimer we should next. Search. Can we hunt this guy down? Please. Uh, I'm sure he's, pretty confined sure he's in, in jail. I'm sure he doesn't. Yeah, I was going to say he's probably limited to space. So uh, what? What else is he doing? <laughs> Send him a couple of crates of cigarettes. Is that? I'm sure that's still a currency. Um, Every video is in like Lake Tahoe or Daytona Beach, right? No, it's Havasu. It was like, oh, a, no, it was so like a, oh, that's what I meant. Not, I meant Havasu. I meant yeah, Havasu because yeah, yeah. it's Arizona. Uh, yeah. Here's, here's the latest according to Wikipedia. As of a uh, U.S. District Judge issued a warrant for his arrest. Oh no! To fail to comply with terms of his bankruptcy agreement. As of 2015, he was reportedly living in Mexico with his girlfriend and their twin daughters. As he would, <coughs> nice. as he okay. would. Now, let me tell you this: here. extradition treaties uh, between the U.S. and Mexico are not applicable for civil contempt. He's got to get to Belize. Somebody let him let him know. Uh, but well, no, they're saying Mexico is not going to extradite for this so. <laughs> because it's a civil contempt warrant, not a criminal. Thing. Still, oh. I mean, politics change. Um, uh, I hear Mexico's nice this time. What's maybe. more consistent, like getting a girls gone wild video in what's the lake again in Arizona? That Havasu. Been, yeah, Havasu, or Daytona Beach, or a cops episode mm. in in uh in Vegas. I feel like cops episode was in Daytona Beach a lot too. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah. Um, I mean, I think Florida and Arizona are good target uh, demographics for both those shows. Party. Right, they, this this, this still haven't brought cops Loose. back yet. Remember that they canceled the, the TV show Cops. Look, I understand there's some terrible shit going on, but the Cops TV show was was a classic late night play. You know, it was yeah, right after Forensic Files. Oh, yeah. You throw it over there, you see some pissed drunk idiot. You know what I mean? It's time to bring it back. As as a guy uh, 
I coached a kid. Dad was a was a cop, like a real real cop. Uh, work works at the twin. Anyway, he uh, he talked about how uh, you know sometimes people did need to get their ass kicked. <laughs> so, I well, there's two sides of the story. Yeah, you know. <laughs> In the future, we're gonna let the robots figure that stuff out. <laughs> Texas A and M and my. Are you guy. talking about RoboCop over here? Oh, uh, just you know, crossing a line. Hmm. Oh well, we're shaking uh, someone. Ro- down RoboCop three. I was watching that recently, and uh, they, they made him RoboCop three. They crossed the line in that you know, one. I, it, I, I I can't talk about. It. We're gonna have to save that for the. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what's the, the uncensored uh, Patreon? Yeah, yeah, the oh, Patreon. Wow. So they yeah. they did. Uh, so I'm sitting there. I'm playing video games with the kids, and we're playing Mortal Kombat. And they have these like extra characters, and one of the characters is RoboCop. And I asked both of them, "Do you know who RoboCop is?" They have no idea. I always no root, idea. I always RoboCop. rooted for the villain in the first RoboCop because he uh, he's a true scumbag, like Mayor, probably like Gavin Newsom, and he's but he he has this scene where he uh, he he does blow off of like some girl's tits. In, in, <laughs> RoboCop, in the, yeah, no, uh, oh. the villain in, in the first RoboCop. I, I mean, RoboCop's kind of a st- scary hero, if you're asking. Me. I, I don't know if I like that future. Just we're gonna show the government control. Why us can't we get a side- superhero, a robot cops? Like, come on. I want a side movie on that guy, the 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 villain in RoboCop. You know what probably happened? The actual guy probably killed himself because he couldn't handle his life with with the, his disabilities, and then they just <laughs> they just used it as an excuse to have robots start killing humans. I was thinking about this the other day though, you know, cause like they did the Jesus movie for big Lebowski, right? They spun oh, that yeah. off. I never saw I it. I never saw it either, but they should do one for Polly and Rocky. Oh, I've always yeah. wanted to know like, well, how did he get so angry? You know uh, what I mean? We probably don't he's got a, he's got that, a that's a great movie. Good. Right You're now. a comedian. Oh, yeah. That's you a know. great fucking <laughs> yeah. you know exactly shit where, happened where, to where, him. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Texas A and M and Buzz, uh, the Buzz saw. The, they made Creed, but they didn't give us Polly. I'm disappointed. Wow, it's true. Gosh. They had to Baton Rouge <laughs> to take on LSU. Where Kramer, you still like this Texas A Texas A and M team? Can't hit a shot to save their life. It's classic Buzz. Twenty six and a half from behind the arc. This is, I mean, come on, even by college standards, that's dog shit. Colby, what's a Buzz Williams team? Uh, they play great defense, Effort, energy, offensive defense. rebounding. Uh, best they team. are number one in the country in offensive rebound. Yeah, this is a buzz team. They so they but they're on the road. It's a revenge game though. LSU oh. went into College Station and beat the piss out of them not that long ago. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't would, know. This one's tough. I I don't. To your point, the revenge thing. Maybe Texas A and M gets up for it, but can you trust Texas A and M on the road? I can't. They they have not been great on the road. No, and they just lost to a team that we were all calling frauds. It's a veteran team. I'll take LSU, but I I don't I don't want any part of this. No, A and M's the side. You kidding me? Yeah, I'm with you. You can't take A and M veteran what are you doing team. Fade buzz. Right, veteran you Veteran know team gonna get it done. Yeah, let me find that picture from. Colby, why is Syracuse not on this? Are you afraid of talking about <laughs> Q's? You fucking donkeys ah. took uh, took pit Dallas laying Station. points. Meanwhile, they get the outright win. A couple of fucking Dominics over here. I can't. I, the I Italian it. Christmas donkey. Sean continues his anti-Italian American. No, I'm pro. Uh, oh my God! Did I send you guys the um, what someone wrote about our uh, the no, Italian let's, fingers let's, let's video? Send that to Josh so we can put that on the screen and <laughs> okay. reflect. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll bring it up after the the next read. And while you're finding it, Sean. All right, so I'm on Texas A&M with Colby. You're on LSU. Moving uh, over to Morgantown, West Virginia. Country roads take me home. Kansas comes to town, uh, looking looking like a pretty good team. Colby, Kansas laying nine and a half here on the road, one p.m. on a Saturday. Strange spot, but this West Virginia team again through the eyes and ears and and feelings of uh, Ryan uh, Moneyline Mac. This West Virginia team is broken. Yeah, I. What is your confidence that they show up for this game? Uh, fairly decent. Because, really? Yes, because Kansas is playing there, and uh, boy, you just saw Kansas lose at UCF the other night. Mm, uh, well, that's the reason, and to like, they got their sleeper spot. UCF mm. is playing hard. I, I get it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, geez, <laughs> West Virginia is bad, Colby. Uh, but they the did- numbers aren't. That, I know you're going to look at the numbers. I feel like that's unfair. <laughs> It's unfair to look at the numbers because remember they didn't have the waiver for their guys for a long time. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. Uh, lost the fourteen 
at home, Kansas State. I mean, they did beat Texas at home, but I I think that's more an indictment on Texas. A lot like, of losses. Lost to Radford. A lot of losses. Yeah. Yeah. So I, mean, since I don't they, care who's on your since team. They you don't got, lose the Radford. Since they got their waivers, they played their first game was Radford. They lost. Then they beat Toledo. I want to say though, they got the waivers, but someone was someone missed that right. game. Yeah. So then yeah. Ohio State lost. Yeah. Uh, that was neutral. overtime. They, it, Houston in on the road, yeah. bad loss. At home against Kansas State, loss. Oklahoma on the road lost. Oh, you skip over the Texas one. It's huh? the one good game <laughs> they had. Yeah, one I'm on, game. I'm what about Kansas? Toledo? You skipped over fucking that Toledo. Toledo the can. Toledo, fuck. They're a football school. Oh, stop you can it. Fu- yeah, I, I don't see a That's lot. That's where of Nick Saban got his start. Money line Mac West Virginia. I'm calling out your team's heart. I, I don't see a lot. Yeah. Give me Kansas. Kansas. No. Let's go, Bill Self. Regular right. season, Bill Self. Kansas might get the win, but they're not covering this big number. Give me Dub Rock V. Shock. You guys still haven't learned about Big Twelve basketball. I just told you. Take I'm the be home ba- team oh. always. Oh. Always, always? unless it's Texas. Hey, uh, have you guys signed up with Underdog Fantasy? If not, what are you waiting for? Head over to UnderdogFantasy.com. Use a promo code SGPN. Get that sweet, sweet 100% deposit match up to $100. And of course, not only the NFL, but they also got you covered college basketball. Colby, uh, give us a couple uh, picks uh, you like here. I got something for you. Now, what are you, what are look, I know Friday up? slate. Yes. Friday slate. I'm going to throw in a Thursday for the listeners catching it right now. That's but why you should be subscribed. Well, YouTube.com. Saturday, actually, yeah. But, yeah. Slash sports game. No, no, no. Well, but this will be around on Friday, right? Because yeah. yeah, they don't yeah. have Saturday games on the. Uh, Isaiah Stevens, who's one of the best players in all of college basketball, plays at Colorado State. Ooh, UNL, UNLV comes into Fort Collins. Uh, Colorado State looked very shaky the game prior against Air Force. I think it's a get right spot for him. At the same time, UNLV just uh, you know upset Boise in in uh, Boise. Okay. So I think Colorado State's going to go off. I like Isaiah Stevens higher than seventeen and a half points. Since that's the only Friday game there currently, I'm going to go to the other side of uh, this game. UNLV. Uh, Luis Rodriguez. He's coming off his worst offensive game. In like the past twelve games, uh, if you look back at how many times he's gotten over twelve and a half points, it's almost ninety-five percent of the time. I think Luis Rodriguez goes into Fort Collins, gets more than twelve and a half points. I will take the higher on that. And look, if you want to get a little crazy for Ooh. today, oh, we're adding something for today. Javon Quinterly, the former, the guy that he hid the gun at Alabama. Oh, whoa, 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 he whoa. is in the hat allegedly. He, he put it allegedly. in a sock drawer. Allegedly, never know when you have to use the heat. Um, and uh, he transferred to Memphis with Penny Hardaway. They're playing South Florida. He's a key part of their offense. I like higher than 14 and a half points on him too. So you throw all those all things right. together. Nice Col- little six to one here. Colby's yeah. been pretty cold, but I'm going to continue to tail like a donkey. Mm. Mm. It's Dominic the donkey. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. <laughs> Get the hundred percent deposit match. Kramer Clemson, Florida state. What do we got? Clemson of Florida State. Real? Uh, do we want? Uh, if Josh has the image of that a review, we can. Uh, get on. We can, let's get to it at the end. All right, it's a fun way to close. All right, it up. Uh, Clemson, Florida State, heading to Tallahassee. Um, ACC basketball at its finest here, Colby. Have you? How about this Florida State team? How uh, about that now? I mean, they go from being a team you can't touch with someone else's dick to all of a sudden they're rattling off win after win. But is it a letdown spot? Cause they just beat their rivals, Miami in Miami. It, it seems like every time they get a win, I'm like, all right, well that's not going to continue. I can't, and it I, I can't fade them right now. They're They've on won fire. back they're to back fire. road games. They're coming home. They're, they're Clemson's also a, f- a train wreck right now. Clemson, you have catching one point. So I, I, I tend, I thought you were going to favor the wrong team, but you got it right. Mm. They're also coming mm. off a double overtime spot. Um, we generally like to fade teams that had to play extra basketball. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I think it would be foolish to go against Florida State. They figured something out here. And if anything, Clemson's on the other Primo side. Of Spears one of is playing great for them. Now they still can't shoot the free throw, so Sean's probably gonna try to fade that. Doesn't matter. This is like the Bucks Eagles game. One team's playing well, one team's playing oh, like shit. How, how dare you, Ryan? Easy handicap. How dare you? <laughs> now I want to really figure out why I should take uh Clemson. I don't know. They if have Joe Girard, former Syracuse point guard oh, for the okay. previous three years. Yeah, yeah. Well, now we're talking <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, Joey did uh, pretty good. He, went, he was that tiny little white dude, right? Yeah. Checks yeah. color of I skin. Liked him. That's always a, that's always a dangerous handicap, though. No. That tiny little white guy. Give me, give me Clemson. Uh, 
I guess Florida State of all teams. You don't want tiny anymore. No, no. Florida State's got the size. I mean, I'm fine. It for me, Florida hitting the free throws is if you're um if you're a big dog or something like that. You're trying to you're trying to figure out like, hey, the spread's five or something like that. Is it gonna matter? No. Or if you're trying to cover a big number. But at, at minus one, you're just picking the better team. So I'm with you guys. Give me Florida State. Oh man, the Discord is gonna have a meaty card on Saturday. You hopefully they don't tighten up like uh, many men McCarthy UCLA. Uh, someone posted just some. There have been some great, uh, great montage I mean, of many men with Mike McCarthy. The Eagles videos have been great too, but the uh, <laughs> there's been some great, great Cowboys one. You didn't see the Eagles one where the guy's walking on the crates. Oh, you did share that. That was in poor taste. <laughs> UCLA heads the two. Uh, I, I, crazy nugget. I, Eagles uh, first team ever to have a negative point differential after starting ten and one. Uh, that, that's mind blowing. UCLA heads the Tucson, Arizona, for a basketball game and some probably some partying too. Arizona laying nineteen here. Whoa, Woo. not this is not my UCLA, Colby. What's going on? UCLA's offense is rough this year, but they figured it out. I was on them last night on the College Basketball Experience. Subscribe uh, and uh, just, ran, <laughs> just, just fucking the plug the guy. Money bro. line play in Tempe. They've won two straight. Look, I was also the same very night. I was on USC plus twenty at Arizona. That thing cashed. I think that number's too big. As much as UCLA, UCLA looks like complete ass offensively, <laughs> um, you know, I just think they have enough skill. To cover this gigantic number, the Wildcats win by like thirteen or fourteen. I feel like they just beat wow. Utah by nineteen at home, beat Colorado by forty-seven. I'm with Colby. UCLA, as much as you look at the advanced stuff, their offense has been bad. They have figured it out a little bit of as of late. I think they had ASU win, a little confidence builder for the Bruins. They also got Washington they, they the game before. Super, yeah. They have a super talented team. They're lazy. They don't defend the three-point line. Yeah, this is where it starts. Give me UCLA. Yeah, it's just too many. Like UCLA's got enough talent to stay in that game. No, like they're still going to lose, but 13, 14, 19 is Come absurd. On, guys. You know yeah. I like a big big favorite like this. UCLA yeah. bums. Mm. Bums. BYU heads to Lubbock, Texas. Probably a weird trip for the Utah boys coming down there to Lubbock. This is a leech battle here. Texas Tech. I, that's true. Leech. Uh, what was he? Uh, BYU uh, he grad. Was, he was an assistant. Yeah. Uh, grad assistant on the on a coaching staff. Lavelle there. Edwards. Yeah. BYU laying two here on the road in Lubbock. Uh, Texas Tech, of course, the program that fucked Coach Leach over. Still owes him money. Still, still does. They should put Boo. that shit a bag of gold into his fucking grave. Yeah. Well, fuck you, Texas Tech. BYU. He's got a son. He's got a wife. Hook him up. BYU minus two. I'm not. I, I I forgot. We we should never pick Texas Tech again. I I am willing to put Texas Tech on the same level as the Cowboys. You know they're ten and zero at home. <laughs> oh, but uh, they screwed over Coach Lee. That's true. That's true. Uh, I think you might go BYU or Texas Tech here, right? I mean BYU. Are they the same? See where team? you stand. I think you got to go Big Twelve home teams. You got to, yeah. you got to do it. I'm oh, with Colby. Yeah, do it. It's After small, the way they dog. treated Coach Lee, yeah, that was football. I like to fade uh, them in football. Um, I uh, I'm still a Coach Lee fan. No, this is a tough spot After for death. BYU on the road. After a big uh, big win at home, going on the road, Big Twelve home dog. You got to take Texas. You guys State. only were into him when he was alive. That's that's a lot up. of whites to take on the road. <laughs> I, I, I told Careful. you. What, look that, look at my Penn State handicap. Uh, as a what seven do you mean? Point that dog. part of Texas, they'll be right at home. Georgia heads to Lexing, Lexington, <laughs> Kentucky, where the Wildcats. How about Snow White? Mike Snow Are White. Eleven and a half. Are you kidding? You're gonna give Blue K Blue K. What do you think Blue Kane does traveling up to Kentucky? It's, what do they call it? The opiate highway. He <laughs> he looks like a driver on the uh, the old connector there between Kentucky and Florida. J come on, Blue Kane getting all these points? Fuck you. Kentucky's been shaky at best. I'm just a Blue Kane fan. Yeah, no real hand. And Mike Snow White is doing a great job with Georgia. Well, that, he fits for that. Georgia highway is too. definitely overperforming. Yeah, I mean, nice I win against this. South Carolina. <laughs> Um, this is a conference game. I, I I was on Kentucky destroying Mississippi State. They got that one out the way. This is a sleepier game. Uh, give me Georgia in the points. Yeah, Georgia plays some D, huh? Snow White, getting it done. Yeah, I, I I think Georgia double digits here. That's way too much to give this team. It is a tough road spot, but 
we're good with it. It is, but also Georgia has shown up on the road. I mean, for a team that's getting this many points, they beat Missouri on the road. Uh, they beat Florida State on the road. They beat South Carolina on the road. Like they're, I, I think they're a, they're they could be like a sneaky team in the uh, SEC conference tournament. Mm. Can't wait. So they not wait. I mean, a lot of it this has to do with Blue Cane playing more. I assume UConn heads to Philly. Wait, is this neutral? No, this is at the Wells Fargo Center. So Fi- neutral. Semi UConn neutral. heads yeah. to a oh, yeah. neutral site game against Villanova in Philly. So they're just pl- how many games a year does Villanova play at this? Uh, it's atrocity? the same thing. Like the the uh, St. John's playing at, at dome the pass. Garden, but well. the Garden is special. This is just another arena. That's true. It's just and another. It's even dome. worse because it's called Wells Fargo. Mm. Wells Fargo Center. So fucking lame. Yeah, they're just ripping us uh, us common folk off with their rates. UConn laying two and a half here. Um, Hurley at the mic. Oh, he was last feeling night himself was, last night. Was like some sort of uh, open mic poet, <laughs> just waxing. It, let's talk about it. He's the most annoying coach in, in all of college, in all of sports. Yeah, right now, I right? mean, like, I just like him explaining about what it's to be like the number one team, and just he was. I mean, this guy must do yoga because he was sucking himself off. You know, what, pretty good. You know what it reminds me of? Yeah, I mean, he is super flexible. It reminds me of some, like listening to someone uh, from anywhere in the Northeast complain about having to drive five minutes across I mean, town. Dan Hurley had to get a couple <laughs> ribs removed uh, before that press conference. That's how hard he, he just, was and, loving. And, and whenever he doesn't get a call or something, he's the most <laughs> over the top. Oh, it, it's. It's remember I mean, how much we were complimenting him just because he stopped being a psychopath. Yes. Oh, he, I really focused on not being a crazy motherfucker. Oh, great job, Dan. Gra- Didn't he say something? So brave. Didn't he say it in the so off season? Brave. I focused on mental health. So brave. <laughs> uh, fuck you, man. I'm all over Nova here. Uh, it Phil. I don't know. Almost a Gatorade dumping moment. Now you go into into Philly. Uh, Villanova backs against the wall, coming off a loss against Marquette. Probably a look ahead to this UConn game. I mean, Marquette is a tough road spot, but uh, Wills Fargo will be rocking. Don't come a knocking. Give me the Wildcats. Uh, you know what? Oh man, which Villanova know. team are we gonna get? Because they, when they're on, they're they're yeah. good. But they they're, also they're give us cold. lemons left and right here. But yeah, I'm with you. You know I like to fade UConn ever since they they went into Greenville and tried to and, and stole Tristan Newton. That you know? it, that was a, just a very strange press conference. I, I I don't really know how to handicap it other than either is that they're going to come out and destroy Villanova. Actually, you know, give me UConn. Okay. Mm. That was the look of a psychopath. One jersey trash to another jersey trash. There you right. go. Hurley Hurley to Kramer. <laughs> Where did uh, Hurley go to high school? Uh, somewhere in Jersey. Is he a Bosco? Yeah. Kid? Let me let me find out. <laughs> All right, time for a lock dog and bonus lock brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Head over to hofbets.com. Uh, sign up today. Start betting smarter, not harder. Use the promo code SGPN. Get fifty percent off your first month, or download the Hall of Fame Bets app. Optimize those parlays. Uh, you know, player props, uh, parlays, team sides, totals, players. Whatever you're doing research on Hall of Fame Pets makes it way easier. Highly, highly recommend it. Save yourself a bunch of time. HOFPets.com, promo code SGPN. Kramer, what do you got? St. Anthony's High School, by the way. Oh, all right. Yeah, Jersey uh, City. Yeah. One one of the one of the 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 hotbeds of talent. In Jersey. A lot of legends coming out of there. All right, lock number one. Whew. A lot of options here. I you know what? I'm, I feel pretty dialed into the SEC conference this year. Give me Tennessee minus three and a half. Oh, damn it. I also, I think I'm just going to start taking Cincinnati in all their home games <laughs> against these big 12 teams. Cincinnati minus two for my dog. You know what? I, I just, just uh, doing some talking about some Jersey legends, but what's, what's more fun than fading Purdue. I did it last time. Failed miserably. Indiana no showed. Let's go Iowa. Big big dogs got to eat at some point. Oh wait, oh. T- cancel that. I forgot Blue Canes on the card as a big dog. Georgia Blue money. Kane. What <laughs> 4 to 1? 4 and a half to 1? Let's fucking go. All righty. Let's see. What do I do? Uh I I'm with the uh, Kramer. I mean the the smash spot of all smash spots is Tennessee minus 3 and a half. I think you got to get that on the card. Uh, I also like, 
I think TCU at home minus three. Uh, Colby's on to some with the Big Twelve teams at home. A good fade of Iowa State on the road. I'll take that TCU minus three for my dog. Yeah, let's go. I mean, we're gamblers. Give me Iowa money line. Let's get it, <laughs> Colby. Thank uh, you for announcing that we're gamblers. <laughs> well, some people c- call themselves like uh, market analysts. No offense, Ryan, but uh, yeah, we're a gamble show. Lock. I feel like that was directed at me. Yeah, it was directed at someone else, but mm, I didn't too. feel like referencing feel like them me. directly. Lock uh, <laughs> TCU. Oh, there we go. No, Iowa State can't score on the road, and lock Cincinnati. Yeah, <laughs> Big Twelve. Yeah, uh, the dog. Let's 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 go with them Iowa Hawkeyes. Purdue in a letdown oh, spot. On. Let's go. I think we run it back. Same thing we did last time because I I like uh, I like Cincinnati as well. But we do Tennessee. We really we minus three and a half. TCU minus three. In Cincinnati minus two, we can call it the three-man weave parlor. E- each lock mm, was like ag- e- agreed upon by two of us. You got any backdoor cuts there? You want to give away? Uh, right, Ryan always <laughs> leaves his backdoor. Well, wide no, open. that's a great. Uh, I, I I like the backdoor cut. Get get a bet up on cut the <laughs> the backdoor <laughs> cut. K U T T dot com. I, that's my Houston. I'm offering plus ten. I'm le- I'm giving you an extra uh, extra backdoor opportunity. Extra half point of backdoor opportunity. Great, we're very generous with his backdoor opportunities. Uh-huh. Uh, thank you, everyone, as always, for tuning in. Uh, toss us a nice uh, some r- reviews over on the old Apple Podcasts. Uh, <laughs> that always is helpful. Yes. Uh, this is a hilarious Instagram comment we got. Born quote, off a cliff, huh? Un- <laughs> uh, unfollowed because of the absolutely awful take where you guys blew your cover with the privilege bitching about racist hand gestures. <laughs> Yikes! You know, being Italian isn't a race. I look up the definition of racism, but throwing it. Before throwing Whoa. it out there willy nilly, an incredibly privileged position. <laughs> I uh, love shout the- out to this amazing. It seems like a bit, but uh, hopefully some people are that crazy on the internet. We were of course talking about the it- Italian hand gestures <laughs> being racist <laughs> to Italians. A man clearly understands comedy and jokes. I, I mean, how much of the show are you watching that you're missing the <laughs> comedy element? Cle- clearly, he just responded. Uh, Sean's the, wearing an orange. Syracuse somehow, shirt. somehow the clip came across his algorithm. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, toss us some nice rating reviews. Got some podcast, uh, some gift cards to give out. Uh, playoffs, uh, promo code playoffs, fifteen percent off everything. Bunch of great shirts, hoodies, hats in the merch store, uh, and uh, yeah. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Be safe out there in those snowstorms. For the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green. He's Ryan. Uh, Sean, I'm looking right here. It's it, saying that being Italian American is a race. I don't, I don't know. Kramer, let <laughs> it ride.